Hey, 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 scrappy people, Tracy Reed here today, coming at you with a life crafted layout using the Coco Daisy Bookish collection. And today I'm actually going to be leaning on the plant theme in the Bookish collection, because I've got a lot of new plants uh, in my house lately because I'm a little bit addicted. So I want to do a layout about my plants. And so I'm going to pull out, there's not a ton of plant stuff that's not like related to books, but I think I can still like use plants and books together for this motif. Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, yeah, so I, I think I'm gonna lay these out. I want to name them in my album. And uh, so I think I'm going to like lay them out like this, put their names underneath them. Not sure. I printed them out pretty small so that I could fit them all in and we're gonna make it work. All right, let's go. All right, so this came out a fairly simple layout, but sometimes simple layouts get the job done and are better than if I'd got tried to go super complicated, especially since this is the second layout that I've done that focuses mainly on non-bookish elements in this collection, which means that I have very little to work with because this is a really highly themed book themed collection that I'm trying to like save as much as I can of so that I have like stuff for my book journal throughout the year. So I'm definitely focusing on how to extend this kit without using too much of the themed product. Now, of course I used the floral background because flowers, plants, duh. And also it was just gorgeous and I hadn't had a chance to use it yet. I decided to create some symmetry since I knew I was going to be doing vertical placement of my photo. I created some vertical symmetry across the page with the, the color blocking that I created. And then I decided to just break that straight line a little bit with some torn edges. Of course, only one side got the white tear unless I wanted to use more um, paper, which I didn't really want to cut into more paper. But uh, in the end, you can't really notice it because I do put the photos over the tears. So it's not really too noticeable that only one has that white edge. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put all these photos down and I'm actually going to move them to the outside edge of the page so that I can use the light blue paper to um, write my journaling. I'm just going to write journaling directly on this page. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I don't know if you've noticed. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I really, really hate hand journaling. I do it because I'm also, um, lazy. So <laughs> I don't want to like print out my journaling every time I want to scrapbook something. So for me, embracing writing directly onto the background paper is quite a stretch, but I want to stretch myself. I want to get better at the things that I um, hold myself back from. So I'm just going to write directly onto the page and, you know, hope for the best, which it looks fine. Um, this pa page isn't too fancy. It doesn't end up being like super... Um, <clears throat> super hard to where if I messed up the journaling, it would be a huge problem. Like I could just pull the papers apart again if I really needed to. There is a two sheets. I have two sheets because uh, one came in one of the kits and then I think one came in the, <clears throat> the classified memory keeping collection. Um, there are two sheets of these tabs and I decided that they would be a perfect place to put the date that I got these plants. So I've been accumulating some plants. I'm a bit of a plant hoarder. <laughs> and I've been accumulating these plants over the last few months. So I decided to put um, the month that I got them on this page. So I'm just going to put all of these tabs down on the outside edges for that. And then of course everything is crooked. So I'm trying to straighten it up. I didn't even mat these photos. Can you believe that? I mat all my photos, but I didn't even mat these photos because I just... I wanted the papers and the backgrounds to speak for themselves. And also I'm going to add a boatload of these alphabet stickers because I'm going to be naming every single one of these plants. So I didn't have enough to do all of my titles in this brown alphabet. So I ended up um, switching off to the blue alphabet for the center ones. Um, I feel like I was just short an R and an A to be able to do everything, but uh, oh well. So I'm using this Coco Daisy stamp that came in a previous collection and I'm just stamping the day or no, the month and the year rather than um, the day just to go on these tabs. 
Um, most of them are in January or February, but I believe I got that Asian tarot either in December or in November of last year. So I am um, going to, I'm just going to go with November. <laughs> I wasn't going to look through my photos to decide. I know it's been a few months because she's doing gorgeous. I, I All of these plants, okay, so the pink star um, came to me damaged. And actually, when I used my plant app to scan it to see what it was, I knew it was a calathea, but um, to see what kind it was, it told me it was damaged, and I thought I had just taken a blurry picture, but no. Uh, when I got that plant home, like the next day, three or four leaves shriveled up. My husband thinks it's nutrient burn, like they over-fertilized it. So we are nursing her back to health, but the rest of these plants are doing really well. And so I just added little notes uh, underneath each of the titles of the plants to... Um, either like how I got them or a note about the plant, just depending on which one it was. Um, and now I'm going to add my title. I'm just, we're going all in on the letter stickers on this page. So my title is going to say my new babies. And then I'm going to have all these plants on this page, all these die cuts, especially because I really need to fill up some of the vertical space on this layout. Everything looks very horizontal. It's funny because I, you know, I put down the vertical blocking for the background, but now everything looks really horizontal with the way that the page is coming together. So I need to bridge the vertical spaces between each of these um, rows. I decided to pull out some of the um, washi tape stickers from the Classic Planner sticker kit. There's also washi tape stickers in the memory keeping sticker kit, but um, these just happen to be from the classic planner sticker kit. Then I cut it in half so that it would be a little bit thinner and I would get more use out of it. They come in varying sizes, but I wanted to use this one and it was thick, so I cut it in half. And I'm just adding like a washi tape top to each of these photos. And then I just still am feeling at this point like this is pretty boring, there's not a lot going on. So I'm gonna add two photo corners to each of these photos, sort of in a pattern um, across the page. So I'm also gonna make sure that I sort of, on the top, add that washi tape into the photo corner so that it's all one block. Now I'm noticing that that top one is a little bit crooked and I'm gonna have to go back and fix it. <laughs> uh... And I have to put the B back on, obviously, but you know, I was putting the photo corners underneath the titles. Last thing I'm gonna do is add in some of these um, paint strokes from the, oh my goodness, the rub-ons, that was what I was looking, that was what I was looking for. I decided I needed two, so I'm going to pull out this one as well. And then I'm just going to pull all those letter stickers back up put it underneath. I just felt like this needed a little bit more. Uh, actually, what I felt like it needed is framed because it was just kind of hanging out there at the bottom of the page and it just looked like it was floating in space. So I felt like these watercolor stripes really helped to frame the page and it looks a lot better now. And I'm going to add in a couple more plants. Yep. Adding in a couple more plants and then I'm going to call it good. Yeah. Oh, we're not going to put that one there though. I decided I needed the shorter one on the right hand side. So that one's going to, they're going to switch up. But if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. Uh, let me know in the description box, or in the description box, in the comment section below, are you a plant mom or a plant dad? Do you uh, obsessively buy plants like I do? It's like my side hobby. <laughs> Let me know. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you.